feel like a day and, like today is so uh, important also just because really excited you know for networks and buyers to start the hiring trans execs whole queer to community shows. right now needs um, to really get never behind pitched, the fact that you know trans and non-binary so, and intersex I've, people and their like rights are being uh, undermined, oppressed. You know, trans specifically trans women of color are being killed at an alarming rate. And, and I'm ready for like, you know, you know at the I'm end of the day right now, what we're really doing is trying to celebrate and, and trying to lift so one of us those voices so that right. that, that violence job, get those uh, you know doesn't what I mean? happen like, anymore and for that so acceptance so and and yeah. my yeah. goal is for the integration yeah. of trans and non-binary and intersex people to be in culture, in popular culture and for to just, not just only normalize but to, you know, just start showing some love to all the kinds of humans. Yeah. And in terms um, of storytelling, how would you like to see things progress from where we are? In terms of storytelling, I think we're ready to move past transition stories, to move past coming out stories. I want to see like a trans, non-binary, like superhero. I want to see like a rom-com in which like an intersex or non-binary person is of opposite a leading man. And it's not explained, it's not part of the narrative of like why this is the way it is. Like it's just accepted because I think when we get to that level of moving past the trauma and just go into the nature of our human experience, and not to say that the experience of transition or coming out isn't a beautiful one, um, but it's so ingrained and it's the only, it creates a two-dimensional image of, of who we are because we're so much more than just our gender identity or sexual identity and, and just moving past those narratives of trauma um, are just so crucial right now. Who or what gives you hope right now for the future in terms of storytelling or Honestly, the filmmakers at queer film festivals, the emerging voices, um, the Gen Z, the queer Gen Z youth. I'm not on TikTok, but like I get sent TikToks of like you know these kids like talking about things that when I was even when I was 20, like especially not when I was like 18, 16, like I was not talking about. So on a very micro level, I'm so inspired by just the youth that are having these dialogues with themselves and with the community, specifically digitally and online, because that really is what's shifting consciousness on, on a micro level. People that aren't, you know, huge directors yet, um, or huge filmmakers yet, or they're just making their own shit, like, just online, like, that's making so much cultural change right now, and it's really beautiful. And I think something to be celebrated this year is MJ Rodriguez's Emmy, Emmy nomination. Yes. What, what did do you think of that when you heard that she'd been nominated? I mean, she's my mother. She's Mother Blanca. She's all our mothers. And Pose, specifically this panel, talking about the effects of Pose and now like post Pose. Um, you know, the ripple effects of what that show has done for our community will uh, have a, a lasting effect for decades to come. And I'm just, I'm just humbled to, to be a contemporary of MJ Rodriguez and to be under, uh, now as an intersex, non-binary, trans, emerging actor and filmmaker, to be, um, for them to have led the way for now us to take the torch and take it to the next level.